Okay, so yeah, you read right. What is the purpose and the point of testing golf products? I'm confused. I've been, uh, I haven't posted a video for a week or 10 days for those of you who follow the channel quite regularly. And the reason being is this, is because I took a bit of time out to read some comments, watch other people's videos, and get a general feel for the opinion of what is going on in the golf industry and in the golf industry in relation to YouTube channels. And obviously I test golf products, report my findings, and I'm noticing that there's a general sense of opinion, it seems, that makes me question what is the point of actually testing the product. Because at the moment, there seems to be a move towards a sort of populist statement of golf products are all the same. And when you think about it, the RNA and uh, USGA control and govern um, certain elements of clubs' performance. So, um, and we constantly see the fact that drivers cannot perform, outperform another driver. I see lots of videos that sort of state this. Um, we know that a lot of seven irons are five irons in disguise. So we've got, we, we, we kind of know all this. So what is the purpose of testing golf products? I'm really very, very confused by it. And a lot of people who make this statement actually test the products themselves. Um, but I just can't see the long-term purpose. If products cannot advance, if we are saying now that golf clubs haven't and will not move forward in terms of technology or whatever you want to term it as, then what becomes the purpose of the review? Because arguably, next week's review that I do could look something like this. Okay, so in this week's video, I'm going to be reviewing a new driver from Ping. It's exactly the same as the driver from Callaway in a different colour, but effectively will perform exactly the same as the Callaway and also exactly the same as the tailor-made product, come to think of it. And then if you take it sort of uh, another step further, the kind of videos that are very, very popular on YouTube in terms of views are once again ones that question the purpose, what is the, what is the logic behind them? And that's head-to-head -head videos. So all the channels, obviously I'm including myself in all the channels when I say this, we will pitch product A against product B, often two manufacturers, and see which one comes out on top. But there shouldn't be one coming out on top because they're all the same. They're all the same. They're headlines I keep reading. Our products are all the same. Products are governed by. So they're all the same. So what's the purpose of head-to-head -head videos? You can't have a winner. And the head-to-head -head videos, I would say, should probably look something like this. Yep, that's right, it is head-to-head -head time. I love these videos where we pitch one driver up against another driver, and I do my very best to prove that there is absolutely no difference between both of these clubs. Now, obviously, I'm having a little bit of fun with this, uh, but at the same time, I really do need your help. I need to understand, and uh, when I'm saying help, in comments down below, because I need to get a feedback of what is important to you, what you want to see from product reviews moving forward, if indeed you want to see them at all, and whether or not there is a purpose. So I really do need some help on this. I need some guidance, because my head at the moment is completely, I don't know which way to go with it. Um, I, I'm really confused and things like again I just I, things keep cropping up in my mind like you know uh, the top 10 drivers of 2017 the top 10 drivers of 20 how can it be a top 10 how can we say in one breath they're all the same marketing is blown out of all kinds of proportions and then we produce a top 10 there can't be there can't be products better than the others I just don't get it we seem to there just seems to be a constant contradiction uh, in what we're doing and then obviously that's the, the the next thing when I think about contradiction and how I look at it when I'm how I perceive it is like in my bag uh, I will probably change products <coughs> this year and I'm changing those products because I think I'm moving to a better product um, because I like I said I think it's fair to say I've been I'm fairly I've been fairly positive about what's gone on in the last 12 months in terms of product testing and, and, and seeing improvements that can help me as an average golfer and therefore I would change my bag accordingly. But I'm pretty certain that 
Everybody else that does this is also changing their product quite frequently and more often than I do. And again, that baffles me. How can we be saying that there is no change in product technology or improvements in products, they're all the same, and then introduce a new club into your bag? What's the logic in that? And like I said, maybe, maybe I've got something, a few cells missing here, but I'm struggling to piece together the jigsaw. It just does not make any sense. I cannot see. It just seems, like I said, a contradiction. And unfortunately, the thing is with my channel, it's always been the same. I don't go rooting for the populist vote. I don't make statements that I know lots of people um, follow certain statements so well like you said again it's almost like tabloid journalism we read a headline all golf products products are no different than they've ever been and we tend to then all quote that statement and i don't i'm not gonna have that channel where i do that i'm afraid and like i said in terms of chasing subscribers and chasing the popular vote i ain't gonna get it i understand that but i'm, I'm okay with that i'm fine with it i've got to say it how i see it um but for me i'd rather either we've got two options here like i said either golf product reviews are pointless or they're not because I, I i don't see the point i don't see the purpose of the reviews i don't see how we can say products are not evolving products aren't changing technology's not changing and then do a video testing a product because there is absolutely no point that is a complete contradiction surely is it not i don't know i mean that's just the way i see it like i said it's uh, it's a very strange one for me. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I've got one last video clip just before we go. And uh, this is probably how next week's video will probably pan out under my new mentality. So don't forget to watch this bit. Um, but yeah, mega important. Uh, I mean, no doubt there'll be plenty of people hitting the dislike button on this one. Because like I said, it's perhaps not the popular thing to say. But by all means, hit whichever one you want to dislike or like. But please comment down below either way. Try and keep it logical, and I will then reply. And like I said, try and paint me a picture of what you think it is moving forward. How product, I mean, a simple are products testing videos a worthwhile process, or are we just going to do a video to prove that? this product is no better than that product. Is that, what we're, is that what the video's purpose is? Is the video's purpose to just demonstrate that one club now is not better than the other? Because that's the way it seems to be going. So I want to be led by you. I want to know what your thoughts are. Try and help me sort this one out in my head. Maybe, like I said, maybe there's something I'm missing in here that's quite glaringly obvious and, and you can help me out with it. So comments, likes, subscribe if you don't already. And uh, here's a last little clip of my uh, video for future product reviews. Okay, so as ever, thanks for watching. And once again, I've done another video just to prove that this product is no different to every other product that I've tested over the last two years. But I might just stick this one in the bag this week. For no reason, I just fancy a change.